Listen, we all agree that there's too much downtime in Escape from Tarkov. Newer games like The Cycle and DMZ have a much quicker stash management system and raid loading timer and EFT is just falling behind. Now stash management and gearing up is a separate issue for another video, but there are some things we should be doing to improve our survival rate and map knowledge while waiting those 3-8 to eight minutes, sometimes even longer, to get boots on the ground in raid. I'll front load this video with the overarching theme here, which is to play with purpose. You need to pick small but achievable goals for each raid and stick to them, no matter how tempted you are to get a little bit greedy. To start with, we're going to need to do a bit of prep. The first thing I want you to do is head over to the Escape from Tarkov wiki, mapgenie.io, or Google image search and find the map that you find to be the best and easiest to understand for each location in the game. It's very important to pick the map that has the right level of information for you as some players are going to need to know the spawn points and extracts, where others might only want to look for loot locations and landmarks. When you've saved a copy of each map, you're ready to start loading into a raid. Here's what you should be doing, especially as a new player. As soon as you click ready, or while you're waiting for that friend to finish getting his loadout together, we all have one of those friends, you need to make use of that time. Open up the map in Paint or a similar program and get that paintbrush ready. At this point, I'll assume you've chosen the map you're on because you've scrolled through your task list and decided to complete two or three quests on this map. The first thing to do here is to circle the quest locations for each. In this example, I'm using the customs map and we're going to be killing scavs for Polkim Hobo, grabbing the bronze pocket watch for checking and hitting two story dorms for Operation Aquarius Part 1. Three simple quests which can all be done or at least partially completed in the same raid. Note that each quest often has more than one location which is important. While using different coloured circles for different quest locations, you may also want to number these locations based on the order you need to go there. For example, we'll need to go to dorms first to collect the machinery key before heading over to construction. What you'll also see is dorms is a quest location for both of the other quests as we need to hit two story for Operation Aquarius and both dorms buildings frequently spawn scavs. So you can probably already see where we're going with this. The tricky part is your spawn location. You won't know while you're loading into a raid which spawn location you're going to have, but you can start to formulate a plan for each spawn location in the raid. For example, if I spawn near the telegraph pole and broken wall, I'll have a pretty straight shot to get into 2 story and open 206. I can then continue from there to grab the machinery key from 3 story, while killing scavs, make my way over to construction, then hopefully extract through the Ruaf roadblock. Remember not to get too cocky on quests where you have to kill a lot of scavs, especially if you could just extract quickly and complete two other quests, sell loot and go straight back in. On the other hand, I might spawn at Big Red. You've got a couple of choices here depending on how long you want to be in the raid. Players will likely already be in dorms by the time you're there, so you might choose to focus on Polkim Hobo scav killing on this side of the map initially, then head into the middle to do your quests at dorms later on. Either way, you've got your route in mind and you should stick to it as closely as you can. Of course, you may need to veer off slightly to avoid unnecessary firefights, but I wouldn't go looking for PvP at all. You simply don't need it at this point. Remember, this is all an exercise in improving our survival rate. To reiterate the point here, you're loading into a raid, planning your movements based around your spawn point, then onto quest locations, loot locations, and finally looking for your extract. And you shouldn't deviate from it too much. Playing with purpose is the single biggest tip I can give a player looking to improve their survival rate, as chasing unnecessary conflict puts you in a position where you stand to lose any progress you've made in a raid. And the loot you're getting from PvP is almost never going to be as good as what you can fill a backpack up with when avoiding other players. Using the tips in this video, you should see an improvement in your survival rate and be able to complete quests a whole lot quicker. If you found this guide helpful, please leave me a comment just below the like and subscribe buttons. I'd love to know what your survival rate is and whether you think this will make a difference to you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.